When we borrow money and we make regular payments back, we call this an installment loan. So we looked at borrowing money a little bit like with simple interest, right? You can say, okay, I'm gonna borrow, you know, 200 bucks. I'll pay you back, you know, next month or something like that. All right, that's that's one thing. But when but when we make a you know a large purchase and we're borrowing money from a bank, we usually do something called an installment loan. And in an installment loan, you borrow a big lump sum and then you pay it back with regular payments. Almost always those are gonna be monthly payments. Um, they don't have to be though. Okay. So um, the idea is that every month we get charged interest on how much we owe, and then we make a payment on how much we owe. And the payment is more than the interest so that the amount we, go, we owe goes down and the loan's over when the amount you owe is zero, right? Makes sense. Okay. Um, the good news is a lot of the same symbols that we've used uh, in the last few sections, we, we, we keep, right? So we're gonna have a percentage rate R, okay? Number of payments per year, N, that's gonna work just like we had from compound interest. Um, so if we have monthly payments, N is 12. Okay, the amount we borrow is gonna be the principal P. The number of years is T, okay? And now we're gonna be looking at monthly payments as being this PMT thing. Similar to when we were talking about saving money and we were making deposits, okay? Um, you know, we're gonna use the same PMT variable, okay? So here's our installment loan formula. I only have one formula here instead of, you know, two or more. Uh, and this is only solved for the monthly payments, right? So the idea is if I wanna buy, buy something like a house or a car or a couch and I need to finance it and I borrow money, what I wanna do is say, okay, I'm gonna pay it back in this many years. And with this interest rate, how big do my payments have to be? Okay, so typically wanting to know what the monthly payment is, is, is gonna be the main thing. So that's what we're solving for. Okay, and again, we can use our the finance solver on our, on our calculator the same way, right? Hit the app button, right? Fill in what we have and then hit solve on what we're looking for, which in this case is always gonna be the, the payment. So let's let's look at an example. Suppose we borrow fifteen thousand dollars for a new car. Okay, so if the amount I want to borrow is fifteen thousand dollars, then P equals fifteen thousand. And the dealer will give you five percent interest. So our interest rate is 0 0.05. Okay, for five years. So T is five years. Okay. Um, finally, monthly payment for the loan. So we want to find the payment. And since it says monthly payment, that lets me know that N is 12. Okay. So what we can do is um, I'm going to go th through this two different ways. I'm going to use the formula. So PMT equals, okay. And we go back and look at our formula and it's this, you know, big complicated thing. So you wanna make sure that you have this um, handy when you're, you know, writing things down, okay. Uh, you don't wanna try and memorize these formulas. That's not really helpful for you in life anyway. Okay. Okay, so we have P, R over N, numerator, and then the denominator we want to put in parentheses, one minus parentheses, one plus over N, negative N, T. Okay, I think I got that all right. So I'm going to put all of this into my calculator. I'm going to bring my calculator up on the screen. There it is. I don't want to show up it's here. Okay, so let's enter this in on our in our calculator, right? So I have fifteen thousand times parentheses 0 0.05 divided by twelve. And the denominator, I start with a parentheses one minus 
parentheses, one plus 0 0.05 divided by 12 to the power of, and make sure you don't forget the negative, 12 times five, and then close the parentheses for the denominator. Okay. So we get 283.07, and as usual, I'm going to just round everything to the nearest cent. Okay, so that's using the formula. Um, remember, we can also use this finance app, which I'm perfectly happy to use for everything. It makes all of your computations a lot easier, especially when you're mixing problems together. Okay, so the amount that we're borrowing is the, the PV here, 15,000. I don't know the payments, so I'll skip over that. Final value is zero. The loan's over when I owe zero, okay? And because this is monthly, I want the payments per year to be 12 and compounds per year to be 12. So I go back up to the payment and hit solve, and I get my 283.07. You know, and again, ignore the negatives that you get on here. That's just an accounting thing that they do. Okay. So that's the monthly payment on the loan.